All right, Flyway Mechanic here again, and we got a Honda in here with a P26456. Let's see, yeah, and that's the trouble, trouble code we pulled. It was a yeah, P2646, which is for the rocker arm oil pressure switch. Also, the customer is complaining that it's sluggish. So basically what that's saying is low, it's either low oil or sludged up oil or lack of maintenance. So basically, um, make sure you watch the end of this video because I'm going to show you where the VTEC solenoid is. I'm also going to show you um, where the VTEC pressure switch is located. Um, there's also two different screens. Um, there's a screen on the side of the cylinder head where the VTEC pressure switch is. And there's another screen on the front of the cylinder head behind the power steering pump. And I'm going to show you where you guys are. So make sure you stay to the end. I'll show you what these parts look like off the vehicle, where they're located, how to test them, how to clean them. So let's go under the hood. All right. So before we go under the hood, if you want to get technical, here is some uh, things you can check with your scan tool. Well, you can pause the video and read this if you want. But uh, there's some helpful information here. But I'm going to show you um, a few things you can check and try and do without actually spending any money. Here we go. Okay, so first off, uh, let me show the car if we have the fan running and all that noise. All right, so obviously first off, make sure the oil's full, clean. If it's not full and clean, I'd start by doing an oil change. But you, you got this, uh, you can see on the front of the cylinder head, right behind the power steering pump, right where my screwdriver's pointing right there, there's just this little plate, and behind there, there's a screen that plugs up that can cause problems with your VTEC solenoid. Also, um, right down here, where that, electrical connect, where that electrical connector is that goes on the side of the timing cover, that is actually the VTEC solenoid or the Vero valve timing solenoid. And then on the back of the cylinder head, which is going to be right back here, let's see if I can get a good shot of that. Let's see. Yeah, so right there is your spool, is a spool valve, and your pressure switch. Now I'll show you what these actually look like off the vehicle and how you can clean them. So this here is actually the spool valve and the pressure switch that go on the back of the head. And as you can see, like right about there, there's this that little screen. And this is the VTEC solenoid. Both of these you can remove and clean. This one has screens in it as well. You can remove it. You can test it. I'll supply 12 volt power and ground here. If that solenoid activates and it's clean, it should be good to go. Same with this solenoid and with this screen. A lot of this stuff can just be cleaned and tested and uh, put back together with clean oil and you won't have any problems. So, a couple things to try before actually replacing parts. And uh, certainly that's I've fixed many of them that way without spending any money so I just wanted to throw that little tip out there if it was helpful be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe thanks